All right. Now, at that point, um, what do you guys? Uh, oh, are you are you going to meet Brother Data? Yeah. All right. All right. So at that point, you guys get in the truck, head back out. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we can't. We gotta go see Jin Raven. He needs to be healed. That <laughs> you guys are on the way to there, right? So you did all this planning. You guys roll into the Vernon. You're immediately whisked to the to the stream, uh, and Jin, you know, Jin Raven comes forward. They they immediately bring food, everything, and you go forward and uh, kind of get down, and drink some of the water. You are immediately healed, right? And yeah, immediately healed back to. You don't want to do a baptism right? instead. Yeah, and uh, Jin, so now, did you, you want to talk to Jin Raven now? It would did tell her that the uh, army's coming. Well, that's that's his call. Like so, that's um, the question. Do you want to involve them? Specifically. So does this erase the negatives from my pools? Completely. Oh. Your, all your pools are 100% full, Sweet. and uh, your half <coughs> limitation is gone. I'm telling you, and when you guys are in the Verdant, you know why they care so deeply about this place. It is unlike anything So this is my first seen. time in the Verdant. Oh, that that's right. <coughs> so you actually go up by two points across all your pools, and that's permanent. As, uh, you will go down one if you lose your totem stone. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna let them know that about the sport? potential army that's on its way. Okay. Oh, but, but uh, we, oh, for the elves, yeah. for the elves, right? Now, this is a big decision. Do you want to? Do you want to engage them in your war against Shryware? It's important for you to understand this. Jin Raven is very clear. She does not want you to be on the Shadowrun team anymore. And if she can do a huge favor for you, she feels that she can bring you into the fold permanently. So you do think you get, you know, as you're dealing with her, as you speak to her, you get the idea that he's right. That you could you could ask for their seven thousand to be added into your force against Shrywaren. But if Shrywaren wins, he could destroy the entire Verdant, mm -hmm. right? And he will make them an enemy to that. As soon as they accept the the Solishidhe, the Navajo, the Algonquins, the Simpsians, all of them become enemies to Shrywaren, and Shrywaren could wreck the entire verdict. He could burn it to the ground, right? Do you want their help enough to risk them becoming an enemy of Shrywaren? I don't think we have to risk them yeah, getting involved. Yeah, you want to use Nova Blue's yeah. followers? Yeah. Nova's Blue followers is a force of 500. I would, would completely favorite. say use them both. And I will see the world burn if it needs to stop in Shireen and get him Corbin back. That, yeah, that's now. I will totally Dresden files this, and once I get Corbin back, I will roast marshmallows. Um, so, so you, but your decision is no. You're the not the it. elves Go that ahead. are en route to five thousand that are supposedly there. What is what is their relationship, if any, with Shireen? It's a great question. They have no relationship with Shireen. They are coming to destroy Jin Raven and her forces for the audacity of taking corporate property, for taking Seattle property, and for saying, hey, we can just kill people and take all this land. They feel that that so, is completely outrageous. I don't know what the no rest ability. of you what the rest of you think, but if word gets to those elves that these guys just took out a dragon, I think it might stop that fight from happening. I already said I wanted to go parlay with the elves, so. All right. So, and, but you are going to warn them about the elves coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, uh, Jim Raven says thank you. She thanks you for that information, and she immediately calls her council. And her council is meeting, and they're going to start to, to determining how to defend. And she says, we are going into council. Will you remain with us for council? In which case, you couldn't go with these guys for Corbin. Oh, I need to go with them. So Jin Raven, you know, she she bids you well. Uh, he, you are fully healed, and at that point, you wish to uh, parlay with the Elven Court. Mm -hmm. Okay, the name of your NPC. What is that name? One more time. Oh, Katarina Sabin. All right. So at that point, you immediately call up Katarina, and um, and uh, so you uh, because she's absolutely the best way. To connect with the Elven Court, um, and at that point, um, she uh, she you know takes your call. It's very exciting. She says, "Oh, did you hear? There was some, some some there was some violence in the area. You left right in time. I had to wait forty five minutes to get a cover cab out. It was terrible, and I had to take a cover cab. There weren't any black cabs even available. 
I know there are so many weirdos out there. <laughs> this is just, it, yeah, but but thank you for calling. <coughs> Says, how can I help you? Well, I'm sure you're w w well aware that there th about the Elven army marching on the Verdant Seven. Because that was I had. That's absolutely right. Verdant Said do against Jin Raven's forces. Absolutely. Do you also know that they're going to that, that that's going to be the site of a bloodbath where Sh Sharwin? God, I can't. I, wear. I can't yeah, say. Yeah, I, I can't say. I can't say with my accent. It got you. You're good. Go ahead. And your forces could easily get muddled up in that bloodbath. Oh. So, what if? Now, if Shywin wins that, he's not going to give that up to you. He's going to say that is my land, and you're going to also have to fight him. However, what if you decide to make a truce temporarily with the Verdant Seven? They might. Wouldn't they appreciate the aid and give you back at least a portion of the land and property? She says, well, actually, um, wait, uh, one more time. Give me the name. Sorry. Katarina. Katarina, Katarina seven. 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 Right. All right. So at that point, um, uh, by the way, she says, hey, can, uh, you know, let's continue to talk, but I would like to speak about this personally because. We're about to talk about core business. Can I meet you somewhere? Sure, I'll take my bike or a hippogriff somewhere. Now, here's a question. Are you going to have her meet somewhere close to where uh, the paranormal racing track is? The paranormal animal racing track? Or are you going to go separate? Is my point is, are you going to be there for the meeting that he is going to with Brother Data? I think it'd be okay to be near that at least. Okay, yeah, so you're going to be a safe distance, maybe a half mile out so that you can get over there quick. That's fine. You guys meet at a cafe, uh, and, and so some of this happens along the way, and then uh, the rest will happen. I'll tell you what the point where it goes. But so, at the, so you guys are literally heading toward each other as you're speaking. Um, and by the way, she doesn't drive anywhere. Everywhere she goes, it's always like chauffeured and, and things like that. So you see her you know, get into a car, and it's, her video feed is, there's a drone that's uh, giving you feed. Um, and at that point, so she says, so she says, one, I am so, he says, not one, I'm really glad that you're calling me because we are in sync because we're taking the time to honor our Elvish heritage, eating the right things, focusing on the right things, and our minds are, in, are, are heading toward the right conclusions. Now, if Shryworn were, <coughs> were to defeat Jin Raven, which I highly suspect he will, um, and the reason why, I'm not sure you're aware of this, but... Our organization has found that he has, he has already secured eight Shadowrun teams to do his bidding within the, ci within the city and is even now negotiating for more. Uh, so she says, so, um, but one of the things I do need you to be aware of, the elves are talking to Shrywern. Shrywern is now talking with us to make illegal the carrying of any Orcalcum within Seattle. And if we are to help him with this, all of the Orcalcum, which will be turned over by all of Seattle citizens, will be returned to the Elvish court. I was afraid of that. Which What's Orcalcum? Orcalcum. It is a special magical element um, <coughs> which is used by talismongers, and it is a massive arcane boost. It doubles and triples the power of spells. So it's almost exclusively used as a magical focus. One of the things that's happened that's very strange is street samurais have started to coat their weapons with orichalcum. It has no effect in damaging. It does not damage, right? But it's like sneakers. It is super pimp, and it impresses all other <laughs> chrome samurais. And so, so street samurais are now do, have putting orichalcum on their chrome parts, putting orichalcum on their weapons. Orichalcum pistols are all the rage, and it super pisses off magical people be, because they're like, hey, for us, that's a focus. For you, it's bling. And they're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> you get me. You totally get me. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, so at that point, um, she says, now, she's, I can absolutely have you meet with uh, with the elven, um, with, the, with a member from the elven court uh, within Seattle this very evening. Um, she says, um, and we really could use your team's help with making sure that this deal does go down. 
um, there's no reason for you to be allied uh, against Shri Wern. All he wants to do is get rid of something that doesn't exist. Nova Blue isn't real. Like, it hasn't even been proven yet. One second. Yeah. Guys, should I holovid the footage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. You could, you could prove, yeah. Uh, if you this could totally... This if you really think you can things. convince her, because you, we have to break up that alliance, we can't let them ally with uh, Shri Win or we're screwed. I am a pretty good talker. Yeah. Are you going to tell her the truth? Now, you wait, just so you're aware. Can we Beat. murder her and make it look like Shri Win did it? <laughs> <laughs> just so you're aware, before you go forward, you now know that you guys know something that the entire Elven Nation is unaware of. They truly believe to the all the way up to the court levels that. Um, no, no, is a myth. Yeah, is a myth. So why why not lead with the question, say like, well, what what if it wasn't a myth? What if I could prove to you that Nova Blue does exist and is an artificial intelligence? Hmm, that is an excellent question. There is two things that would occur, and I am going to explain this to you because I believe you are a man who can understand nuance. I would be very excited about that. And the reason why is I believe that all life is precious. And if there's a new form of life, then that is a wonderful thing that should be celebrated. I can tell you now that the Elven Court would agree with um, would agree with Shrywaren, uh and believe that it would be outrageously dangerous and should be destroyed. That a that an un that an independent Artificial intelligence would be outrageously dangerous and should be destroyed immediately. What about our modification? Say that one more time. No, I'm, I'm yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of uh, like I'm in his programming at yeah. times. So like, yeah. if there's nothing going on and I know there's stuff going on with permission. What do you mean by I, our, what do you mean by our modification? Like our deal, oh, that it would we be have, limited. We have a deal yeah. with Nova Blue that to he would, remove that he will and he not, can't create yeah, more. He cannot create more. And well. What if I were to also tell you that if this being was real and we already met it, it understood that there couldn't be more of it? It's just, mm. It sounds like you are allied with Nova Blue. Is this true? Only someone who was allied with the creature would be able to have... Play the fifth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well then, here I go. Tap my elven eyes and follow yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the cyber... The cyber coffins, the wow. digital image. Holy cow. She says, well, one, you have showed incredible trust to me. Um, I am concerned. Uh, I truly do not believe that the Elven Court will side with you. Uh, however, I will not tell them what you have told me. And I will ally with you. But I am one single woman. I'm sorry I not, cannot do more to bring the Elvis court to you. But I will tell you, with the time frame you're speaking of, I do not expect the, uh, the Elven court to be allies. The Elven court is highly, highly incented to make this deal happen with Stride Wear for the Al Oracalcum. It could literally be hundreds of pounds of Oracalcum returned to the Elven court. They have been trying to do that for decades. And you want to know what you, what you took away from that? She said she's single. <laughs> <laughs> so the Elven Court is okay with a dragon being their master, telling them what to do? They will not see it that way. I do understand what you are saying. Um, and by the way, just a quick Game Master note. I know some people are new to Shadowrun. Uh, it is a major saving saying in Shadowrun. It's on half the fiction books. Never make a deal with the dragon. <laughs> and they are making a deal with the dragon. So, yeah, yeah. But also, the Elven Court is highly, highly um, uh, incented to go down that road because they, they're the kind of people who believe, oh, I'm the one who this deal with the dragon will work out for. So go ahead. Yeah. All right. Well, the elves are known for our arrogance. Indeed. She says... I can give you a, I can give you a, a try to speak to some of the elven nobles uh, this very evening, but I highly suspect all that will happen is it will make them suspicious of you. I do not believe you'll be able to bring them to your side. And the reason why is you have nothing to offer them that is m even remotely as attractive to them as the Orichalcum. 
Now, what if I were to talk to Jin Raven and talk about getting land back to the Elven Kingdom should this fight go in our favor? Would that be more substantial? Do you think for one moment that Jim Raven will give you even one square inch of, of land back? I think she would like that more than having all of her people killed in the onslaught. Mention me. Mention uh, me. I'm a good person to mention for that. Insert his character's name. <laughs> I do not believe you will be able to get Jim Raven to give up any of that land. And I also don't think that they will be, uh, that they would let even Shrywer take that land from them. Well, if I did go through, what what do you think the chance of a flag of truce giving me safe passage? To where? To the council. To, to the Elven council, council. and the nobles and. Uh, you could speak with the you could speak with the nobles. What I'm saying is, you don't want to speak with the nobles. What would you offer them? Well, let's see. Aside from them being able to dictate what they want to do with Orichalcum. Or, or whatever it is they want to do with their land. She says, "You know, you're an elf. You know, you know, you know what the council's going to want. What do you bring to the table?" He is saying he will bring nothing. them hundreds of pounds of orichalcum. What can you offer? It sounds like nothing. Mm -hmm. It would not be worth your time to speak to them. If you have something that you think is worth even remotely that much, let us speak again. But I believe you should get to safety. That's well, a... my plan is to go meet with the rest of my crew against Shywer. Mm. I've already said I'm a man of my word, and that's my word. Thank you for telling me. I do not believe I can assist you further at this point, but if there is something you need specifically, let me know. Thank you, Katarina. I'll see you soon. All right. Okay. All right, now, and actually... What a battlefield, yeah. bitch. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, by the way, point five. That was excellent. Well played. Um, and at that... Okay, so we're back, and perfect timing. You guys uh, come into the empty paranormal um, animal racing facility. You are disgusted by this place because you're like, you know that all these paranormal <coughs> animals are brought here. They're usually kept alive, but they're highly drugged. And, um, and, and actually, they are valuable animals, but they're made, they're forced to do things. So you're like very uncomfortable here. Brother Data comes, uh, comes in and you guys essentially meet right on the, you know, the ground on the track. Mm -hmm. uh, and you guys walk down and the place is completely empty except for a few guards, which he's paid off. Now, um, he's, yeah. uh, is he, he created Nova Blue, but right. is he technically a follower of Nova Blue? He worships Nova Blue. Okay. He literally considers Nova Blue as a god. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he is. So he, it is extremely strange. He is both Nova Blue's father. He's, he's its creator and an absolute adherent. He he follows what Nova Blue says. All right. So first off, I'm going to give him the whole rundown of Shriwan. Okay. And be like, we need your followers on board with this. If we don't put this dragon down, he's going to put down Nova Blue. He says, I understand what you're saying. He says. I will put the word out. He says, it will not be difficult to have Nova Blue's followers come and defend him. And says, you are the best hacker in the world. There is no one better than you. It's true. Admit it. You're even better in sticks, and sticks is really good. <laughs> I understand the only way a dragon has ever been killed is from an orbital satellite laser. That is Can correct. you hack a satellite? He says, uh, yes. It is, it, is, it, is, it is an excellent question. Dunkelzahn was killed with uh, with uh, with an actual laser. We're Since all there? Then, yeah. I'm sorry, with a satellite laser. Go Are ahead. we all there? Yes. Okay. Yes, everyone is there. Right. And, uh, and I need to tell you a few things, but let me answer that question. He says, since then, no number, uh, he says, an almost unlimited number of fail safes have been set up so that that cannot be done. He says, I have tried <laughs> multiple times to, uh, to unlock the same so that I could take out my own, my, he says, my own uh, areas. But currently, that is an unavailable resource. And the reason why is it's, it's already been done. Yeah. He says, also, I do think that I might be able to do it, but it would take more time than we have. Mm. This is because if what you're saying is true, Shryran will move extremely quickly. All right. I don't know how how the rest of you see this going down. 
no Nova Blue, does he transmit wirelessly? Like he can show up wherever he wants. Yeah. And can then, Nova Blue go into a satellite? Oh, it's a great question. That's never been tried right. before. Yeah. So so here I mean, here's if Ultron and Skynet can do it, why can't Nova Blue? <laughs> so here's here's my plan. If he has the ability to appear and disappear wherever he wants without any real fear of anything being done to him because it's like he's remote. So Well that's actually, not true. His servers, there's there's the problem of his oh, servers. Yes. Well his servers will be vulnerable, but he himself is not you can't damage him, correct? No, uh, you oh, can't through the servers. That, oh, yeah. That's why he's if you terrified. get rid of if you get rid of his fifty servers, he's a, gone. the physical appearance. Forget the servers for a moment. Right. Go ahead. If he shows himself, I'm here. Right. That's no, not his no. servers. Yeah. That's not yeah, absolutely not. You're right. It's possible just the proof of him physically there could be appealing enough to make sure I win. Try wearing, come within range. Oh, absolutely. No, no. blue can be used as bait. So yeah. no question. then we surround all of that with the assault cannons. You have the missiles ready to go, and we get him to the ground. It's flawed. He's going to go after the servers. You can't lure him that way. We, but we can set up the trap at the servers. Uh, and actually, you can physically get Shrywaren in one. So, D Brother Data says, yes, I do believe you're correct. I think we can get Shrywaren in human form or in dragon form if uh, Nova Blue manifests himself. And one of the reasons why is Shrywaren now believes that Nova Blue is real, but he wants evidence. Ooh. So the meeting <coughs> that you've had, he wants that. Yes. The dragon shapeshift, are they only able to make one human form, or can they assume any form they want? Oh, any. Any. Okay. Absolutely. He already had said that earlier about wandering off as a homeless yeah, person. Yeah, now, so. the other thing is, um, I do want to explain, you had brought up an excellent point. We can, uh, so I should be, I should say this, we can hack a satellite and try to use a satellite razor. The only issue, though, is you. it would take you, I, and Nova Blue, and the issue is black ice. You know what black ice is. Black ice is you. You go for that gate. You open that gate, or you die. Period. Like essentially, you are directing. It's a it's a neural interface that's direct. And when you interact with with black ice, you period. It's 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 it is a zero one. You open the gate, or you die trying. Period. And he said. And so I don't want to do that. I he says I don't deal with uh, with. He says, I don't I don't want to deal with black ice. And you know, and it's not worth it. And I think it could kill the two of us if we tried to do that. So that is why I don't want to do that. I came here to talk to you for a specific reason. He says you have told me much information. I ex I expected to learn none of that, um, but I have something to tell you, Corbin. Both of you have known Corbin. Corbin is still uh, in the state where her physical being, just like Nova Blue, exists on one server. Uh, that server is still with Ren Raku. Um, I know that you've been working for a long time to free her. And Ralph, I, I've, I've been aware of what has been happening with you. It is talked about throughout the city that you are the favored son of the Salishite now. So this will probably not be attra an attractive option to you, but I think it may be an attractive option to you, Raphael. I have studied your situation, he said. There is currently a Japanese, um, he says there is a Japanese uh, C-level executive. He's a chief operating op officer with Mitsuhama. I looked into this. He has worked for two and a half years to free his son, who is in the same situation as you have. There have been members of three Shadowrun teams that have died and six million new yen have been spent to accomplish what you are trying to do. And it has failed every time. No one has been able to bring a human out of full electronic state and restore it to a body. Now, why are we speaking? The reason we are speaking is what I have created is true and real, right? I have sacrificed at this point seven human beings to Nova Blue. They exist within him. They are no longer bound to this physical space. You can be with Corbin now. Both you and Corbin can be put into Nova Blue. You will live forever, and 
you will do exactly what you do now. Interact with none of the physical world and have control of all of the electronic world. For you, the transition is virtually nothing. Oh, well, except for the physical sensation. How much do you use that, Raphael? <laughs> do you see my point? If you wish to be with Corbin, Joy be with Corbin now. Chicken. <laughs> She's still with uh, Renraku, though. We can fix that. If you get her out of Renraku, I will do it. I can, but we would be getting her into Nova Blue. If we were able to get her out of Renraku and into Nova Blue, you would join her? I don't think Nova Blue. Will we be autonomous? He says, yes, that is an excellent question. You, I will say, he says, you will be 50% of your of your being will re be retained and 50% will be merged with Nova Blue. Nova Blue. Neither one of you will be the same. But you will have Nova Blue's power just as he has it. Nova Blue won't accept this. He says, I think I can handle that part. He says he won't take any more lives. He has said that. I believe this situation is different. Corbin is trapped. Corbin is already taken. Exactly. Right, but you're not. The question is, if you wish, if you truly wish to live, your your choice is, do you wish to live in the digital world forever with Nova Blue, and more specifically with Corbin, or do you wish to remain here in the physical world where you interact with it very little anyway? What is to be lost for you? Ralph. He, and I, I clearly look torn because I'd ha in order to be with Corbin, I would have to leave Ralph. It is true. And, so, and he says, and I must say, this is not a solution for you. You uh, live fully within the physical <coughs> world. This, uh, this other team that spent ridiculous amounts of money and what have you, they didn't have Nova Blue. It is a good, it is and an this might board. sound egotistical, but they didn't have me either. <laughs> he says... Your friendship is uh, is significant," he says. "I um, I applaud your friendship with Ralph, and um, I wanted to make that that offer to you before." I look at him kind of quizzically and say, "Friendship? Ralph's my son." Indeed, he says. He says, "The fact that you are willing to stay here, looking even down when you could the, be with looking Corbin. down at Dave, <laughs> looking yeah. up at David." Yeah. And when I say that, I kind of pat him on his knee fondly. <laughs> He says, I wanted to make sure I made the offer beforehand. So, and, and at that point, uh, he says, I will make sure that all of Nova Blue's followers are available to you. He says, and then, at that point, he turns his back and begins to walk out. Now, let me, let's do some few things. Point three across the board to everybody. There's a ton of role-playing going on in this session. Thank you guys for your patience. Not a lot of shooting. So <laughs> I do appreciate that. Um, half of a half a point for your decision. I thought that was an excellent decision. And um, and then at that point, you realize I need you to make a... Uh, unfortunately, it is against him. So it's a, it's, it's a, it is against um, Brother Data. So that's a 27. So you have a per, essentially a perception test, which is an electoral okay. check. I'm trained in perception. I don't know where, but... So that is going to take you to a 24. Do you want to use any effort? Um, do I know what I'm trying to do here? Um, uh, yes. Oh, you are... So there is something distinct about him that it would be helpful for you to know. That's all. Yeah. Are you so tier 5? 24. 5. Yeah, you should probably use. Or what's your? Or so you have five effort. I would use. I would use I have everything. Four, four levels of effort and a four edge. So four will take you down twelve. That will take you two a twelve. You ready to do that? So twelve. So that's four. So that's three, five, seven, nine. So it'll cost me five. Yeah. Um, what, what is my number? All right. Uh, yes. Oh, you missed it. Okay. Good Can enough. I spend right. my one XP for him to re-roll that? Yes, I will allow that. Good luck. It's an 18. Ah, you got it. And I'll make it worth your while. He is 
fully meshed, right? So essentially, you so you bring all your uh, your abilities to check on him, right? He is fully meshed. He has an underwire frame within his body that has been created. This entire facility, right here, right, is uh, completely configured with with massive Wi-Fi, right? So that essentially what you realize is that he is ready and willing to die. He's he's he expects you guys to kill him before he before he leaves and he is entirely set up to upload to Nova Blue the second he dies. He he is giving himself to Nova Blue. He just, and you get the idea that he just hasn't had courage to do it on his own. Like he doesn't want to take his own life, but at this point he expected that this would go down. Like you get the idea, he knew you guys were gonna kill him because you don't want him duplicated. Um, but he's more than willing to die, and as soon as he dies, he will be uploaded to Nova Blue. Now the question is, do you? And that's one of the reasons why. Also, he turned around. He has no armor, and he's walking away. The, that was kind of their thing. I actually don't yeah, care about that's the new, true. Nova but Blue. You part. see it. So at this point, you would you would wanted to kill Brother Data. So that it was a guarantee that that Nova Blue could not be duplicated. Right now, he stands in front of you, bullet to the head, done. Nova Blue, the odds of him being du duplicated within the next twenty years go up by factors of twenty. It'd be almost impossible. So I'll I'll send that that uh, yeah that information. Yeah. yeah. Do you take Nova? Uh, do you take Brother Data's life? Is he ever any more use to us at all? Did he send a message to the followers? He hasn't. But actually, it's not going to be a problem because he's going to be—he's not going anywhere. If you release him from his physical form, he's going to be able to do the same thing faster from within Nova Blue. But what do you think? That's you know, a dick move. No, he's expecting. It's, it's clear that he's expecting him. Yeah, and I, I yeah. sent that all, that information out. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. expecting us to kill him. Man. So this man here, do you take the question? Is do you take his life? Yeah, we were planning Whoa. to do that anyway. <laughs> That's right. So you're you're committed. You do not want that that artificial intelligence recreating, correct? I don't really care. It was, but that was the deal. That was the plan we made. <laughs> right. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I, I so I'm but thinking that's what we're supposed to do. It's no. At this point, it's completely up to you. If I any, feel like we should wait until after we take out Shire Warren, just in case we <laughs> could use him. So it sounds like the plan has changed. That is that odd. Okay. Yeah. All right. So at this point, there's there's this tense moment, and and you hear a click. Yeah. <laughs> the safety goes back on. So <laughs> so like the ball has been moved. Like we went we went yeah. from just trying to play exactly. keep away to yeah. Yeah, now we got to put down a dragon. Exactly. Exactly. So at that point, um, uh, you see Ooh, when you hear the brother click, data, he he turns. How many drones could you hack at the same time? He says, um, probably half that are in Seattle. <laughs> Do you think that would bother a dragon, or at least distract them? I Those can absolutely agree. Yeah, he says. He says uh, at this point, like ants swarming larger right. prey. So he says, "Well, one." He actually looks at you for a moment, and uh, he says, "I will aid you." He says, absolutely, I will begin preparation now to bring as many drones as possible to the attack of Shrywaren. So I, uh, you know, no, knowing what I know about code, I don't know what, uh, you know, I, I tell I don't know what, what, uh, what code samples you have, but here is my, uh, my, my mirror code for the, the, the cameras. <coughs> Perhaps you can... It's and make some changes to this to mirror, so, mirror the drones. What if we lure Shryerwin in, right? Distract him with all the cannons, because they're not really going to do much to him anyway. They'll do some. Then hit him with the missiles, and then swarm him with the drones. Might want to do the drones first, then pester with the cannons, and then the rockets. I see it as obfuscating his senses. I, I think the drones a lot. Like, half the drones. Well, they like, like a shield. At that point, there'll yeah. be so many of them. Yeah. All right. Um, so the next, the next thing I'm going to begin working on, what is the most, for lack of a better word, powerful machine within the city? 
like uh, powerful, like oh yeah, you know, that's, that's uh, easy to answer. Uh, there are cranes that move um, that move shipping crate containers off of, um, and they're about four times larger than they currently are onto these mega trailers. And those are the largest. The, the re largest reason I bring this up is one of my fifth tier abilities that I got was literally I can take over a machine. So get that. What if you nine eleven this fucker? <laughs> what do you mean? Flying Ooh. plane into it. Ooh, fuck. Oh. Plane into wow. I was just thinking if I could get my hands in some C four, yeah. I could or explosives. Yeah. Well, actually, so the demolition you already have that he has rockets which you will be helping with. Yeah. So yeah, so he can do the setup on the on the rockets because he has demolitions. So do I. Um, so that's covered, um, and then he, so so here's what you have: you have the drones, you have the followers with the assault cannons, you have a lure already set which you're saying physically bring. So you one, you are saying let's bring Nova Blue physically in front of Shrywaren. Yes. And let Trywaren speak to him, mm -hmm. right now. One that is a huge risk to uh, to Nova Blue, because one of the things is once he's in physical proximity, um, Trywaren is magical and will have a much ch higher chance of knowing where where all those servers are, mm -hmm. right? He's also got a lot of hackers working on it, but it is an absolutely effective lore. So you have the lore. So you have your drones, the followers with the assault cannons, the lures. Are you going to use what he said and actually take a plane? The biggest plane the, that he could possibly. It doesn't have to have that, people on it. That is a lot it. of lives. It doesn't have to have people on it. If you just if he just hacks it from the actual plane, like airport. Oh, uh, lift it off. Lift yeah, off. If he yeah. just lifts it off and then All flies right. it in. So okay. dark, oh my God. Yeah. So dark. I was even saying. worried. Actually, I personally didn't care one way or the <laughs> other. So you're saying unmanned, un, uh, an unmanned plane? You could try to do that. I, I have right. less issues with it right. later. And then the rocket launchers, and that's it. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, so one at this point, you guys are on the way back to your safe house, mm -hmm. and, um, <coughs> and and brother Data says that's it, that's all. They, you know, that's more than enough. We have everything we need. I think we should try it within within the next hour. So uh, yeah. well, I'm I'm reaching yeah. out to to Fazine, right. see uh, see see how she, see ask her how she would like to uh, lend assistance. Any more <laughs> enemies of. Of um, Shywern or followers of Nova yeah, Blue out yeah. there. Yeah, she was she was working on that for me. Oh, so, so. oh, that's right. So f you um, so your question was, who are the enemies of Shrywern? Yes. Right. Okay. So at this point, um, <coughs> I need to look at my notes on Shrywern himself. I'm doing that now, and we are close. All right. There we go. Also, for like procuring Any allies and stuff, oh, I don't yeah, think uh, Yen or New yeah. Yen is going to be an issue because Nova That's Blue is basically controls as much as he needs. He can bring a lot, yeah, absolutely. And so, actually, yeah, what you can do right now is you can roll one d six, and that will be the number of Shadow Run teams that can be brought on. With six. Yeah. Then also, all of you guys can also roll your intellect at an eighteen, and each one of you can bring one Shadow Run team from your own. Experience, you know, to the party, right? All right. So what do we, what do we, are we oh, it's eighteen to actually make yeah. them, make them do it? Right, to bring them in. Right, um, exactly. And can we now, spend the only effort? Thing, yeah. Well, actually, uh, you can spend effort on it, uh, but the other thing is, you, you are going to need to put five k each, five k, which is the discount okay. rate. All right. And um, leadership skill would that help? Leadership well. skill. If you if you um, want to hire another yeah, team, you absolutely can apply right. that. Yeah. Right, so, so I'm at a nine, and I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah. Oh, nine on the dot. Nice. All right. Uh, um, right. Okay. Hold on. Oh uh, yeah. I'm just gonna have to search for it. Seven shadow run teams. Two, three, three. Wow. All right. So you have, and now I'm going to add that on there. Two shadow run teams. Hold on. No seven. Yeah. I rolled the six, and I 
made the roll. And then these guys can actually check too, right? I well, mean, yeah. Ted failed. Yeah. Make it intellect uh, check. Intellect check Four. at 18. DC 18. To see if you know any shadow run teams. Jeez, that will come in. That will how many do you, so you have how many total? Seven so far. Seven. Um, I'm really good at persuading people. Is there, is there a role I can make for this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody. 18. Everybody gets a shot. Yeah. I'm 18? Yeah. Okay. Each of us there any way oh, I can wait. Anyway, I hate lower this. it? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. What's that? Um, you can spend intellect, or you have to have assets or skills. The, the knowing, like the succeeded, um, the, the name, the leader of the Indian people. But you had uh, specifically decided to leave them out. This is purely okay. to get yeah. Shadowrun teams. Yeah. Yeah. So that is separate. What can we do to lower it? Um, uh, you can use effort. It'll cost you set. It'll cost you five points if you want to use all three levels of your effort. Five points of intellect. 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 Yeah, out of your intellect pool, which is a little easier for you. And then, that'll bring it down to. Uh, that'll that'll take it all the way down to a nine. Okay. Yeah. I have four effort and two edge. Can you intellect? Yeah. So you could you could lower it by twelve, bring it down to a six. I'll but do that. will cost you points. How much though? What's your edge? It's two. Two. two so it'll be seven. Okay. If I bring it to a 12, that would be... It'll, it'll cost you three points. Oh, no, 17. Bring oh, that's 12. good. You got it. Make your 17. Roll. I did. It's a 14. You got it. Okay. That's good. So you're you're good. That's 10. 8, 9, 10. 10. 10. Which means you guys are two up. All right? So one of the biggest things is he did bring eight. Uh, so Shrywear had all you all. You knew he already had eight. So you have negated his his shadow run or the shadow runners as his resource. Most of your teams are going to be used for that. But then you do have essentially two as a as a resource for yourself because you must completely re do offset we know his shadow run. Anything teams. about what teams he's brought in? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I still need. Give me one second. I need to like, take a look here because I found my dude. Hold on one second here. There we go, okay. That's not what I want. Sorry. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. All right, two. Now I need to go to two. That's ah, your D20 no. holder. Got it. Can I get some peanuts? Uh, no. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay. Sorry for the delay here. Oh, there we go. Alright. Whoa. Alright, um, yeah. Alright, um. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so at that point. Wow. Um. Yeah. You wanted to know which teams he was bringing in, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the biggest thing you find there is that, yeah, rather than just from a time perspective, you you get what I what I brought back. That the teams that you had had hired are going to be enough to offset. So essentially, he would have brought eight teams, you know, and they would have done different things. Those teams are just going to be used up dealing with the issues that your teams are bringing, and then your so your total resources. That you're bringing against him at Our this two point, teams. yeah, or well, more than that. So I'll, I'll give you the full list. Uh, I do have one quick question. Go ahead. And it'll probably be filtered through sticks. Yeah. What about the orc underground? It's a great question. You've never used them, um, and one one of the biggest issues you have the same issue he does. At this point, you know the orc underground will be incredibly useful. You also know that if this goes south. Right, you guys are fully invested. You know Nova Blue. You've allied with him. If this goes south, and you guys are wiped out, the Orc Underground could be dealing with this problem for five, ten years. They could what, wipe them out. What can they do, Shadow? What can they do, you know, behind the full range? Right. So you know that one, if you bring in the Orc Underground, they're gonna one. You could take Nova Blue's followers, kick them to the curb. When you get Nova Blue onto the ground, 
they're going to do a much better job. Uh, they could they could take them out in half the time. And the reason why is they are hardened, um, trained, melee warriors. Where most of his most of most of Nova Blues people are hackers, people who he's blessed. You know, to different. Um, they're not nearly as as hardcore warrior types as the orcs. In fact. Um, they would, you know, that that entire team would shift to an, an extra resource that would be helpful, but you would take the orcs and replace them on the actual job of killing the downed dragon. So we could take the, we could take the Nova Blue people and use them as as hackers to get control of more things to target to bring him down faster, and then yeah. once he's down. Cut him up. Exactly. So, what would I know about how would so Shiren is going to ally with the elves? How does that affect the orc underground? Oh, would they, they care. Orcs, or, orcs oh, they like do. Elves. Yeah, absolutely. That would you you can get. The I orc. would know that better anyway, wouldn't that being a a troll? A troll. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, actually, you would. Yes, you would definitely know that. This is important. You can absolutely bring. You're 100 percent right. Orcs are you. You make the call. They're in. But as soon as you're like, yeah, you think about it for one second. And you're like, absolutely, I make the call. I can have these guys in there. They'll be way better fighters. Everything's hunky dory. Except if this goes south, I have screwed them royally. But Same the, thing as him. What about and the he other? He looked end? at this and he said, my, you know, these allies of mine, they're safe from this terror. Do you what? want to? But he those likes those people. We don't care about the orcs. I do. He does. He does. Um, he does. You're a troll. So, He's an orc. Oh, you're an orc? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but what, how does life orcs change for funny. the orcs if yeah, oh, Nova yeah. Blue it would, it loses? Would, it would be very bad for them. He's absolutely right. Yeah. If they have something to lose either way. Yeah. It's a what, good point. They're what, invested. what benefit is there for the orcs if we're successful? Oh, <laughs> um, not much. Here's the benefit they only have things to lose. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, so the thing is, what you know, what if it was just presented to them? What's going on, and they decide? That, that's, that's exactly that's where totally I was valid. Going. That's totally valid. So that that that's yeah. that's where my brain was at next. Yeah. So Let I'm them decide. I, I'm gonna re reach out and say, this is what's going down. I'm oh, not. Yeah. I, I, I'm not asking. It is completely up to you guys as to what whether you want to be ruled by elves and dragons or not. Yeah. But uh, not so a you, yeah. <laughs> there is not. The Orc Underground is a very specific... And you know why? You want to know There's why? There's not as many trolls. No, no, no. This is really important. So the Orcs are stuck in the middle, right? Humans are humans. They get treated like humans. Trolls are horribly ugly, and everybody would treat them badly, except <clears throat> they're incredibly valuable. They are, the, they are the main muscle. So Orcs can always get jobs where... I'm sorry. Trolls can always get jobs... And because they're the biggest, the biggest, baddest dudes out there, they actually that gives them respect among the blue collars and among the corpse, and they always have work. Whereas orcs can be very hard to get jobs. They are truly the the people who are stuck. You can like buy a forklift, or you can just hire an orc. Exactly. I mean, troll, hire a troll. A troll. <laughs> exactly. A yeah. So they they don't have it nearly as hard as the other. So guys do. the orcs are the black people of Shadowrun. <laughs> yeah. That's <exactly>. uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not to go there. <laughs> they, well, in that they have I'm a very challenging side. In that. <laughs> nah, you can do it. You're black. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If I've learned anything from black comedians, it's okay if you say it. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Um, you make the call, and they are said they're like, "What is your <laughs> location? We are gonna be there 100 percent." And by the way, Garrett uh, Garrett actually calls you. She's Elf, who is the uh, the Talismonger Elf, who is the girlfriend of the leader of the Orc Underground. Oh, that's the other one, the Talismongers, right? Yeah. They don't want the elves to take all the yeah. Arcanium either, right? No way. Absolutely. So, well, if she contacts him, she's got the Talismonger contacts, mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. saved her life recently. So The only problem that you run into is these things do run quickly, and you know that you have gotten, at that point, yeah. it's it. You're like, you're like, the door is slammed, we have got to do this. And so, and at, at that point, you guys are bringing a ton to the party. You have the drones that, that Brother Data is going to bring in. It's going to be a 20, so he is shooting at 
Uh, he is shooting at. Uh, that's going to be a level twenty-four. It's the second from the highest to get. Uh, he's going to try for half of all mm-hmm. of all of them. He, with his own skill, will be able to roll it. Will be able to bring that down to twelve. If uh, if he misses, it, bring, it means he brings a minor amount, maybe a hundred drones. Mm-hmm. If he does succeed, he's bringing fifteen hundred drones to the party. You can make that roll right now, and all right. that's all. That's for him. So you need a twelve. Good luck. What's he got? Three. Three. <sighs> no, he brings a hundred drones. I'm spending an XP on that. All right, do it up. Here we oh, go. Man. One last time. This dice doesn't roll that great. Oh. Six, maybe? Six. That is a six. Oh, so brutal. there's not many drones right. coming. So that is a uh, minor drone so he can roll it. Minor drone can we roll force. it? Uh, no, it's just limited to one. Yeah. Minor drone, uh, so minor drones, and and also brother data, which is, again, it, it really, it's a minor. All right, so it's essentially a level one threat. Um, yeah, oh, by the way, Shrywaren is a... I can tell you his exact level. Uh, do we want to know? Yeah, he has <laughs> ten million. He is a level nine threat. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, now I also need uh, you guys are going to need to make some decisions as we go into this, and I'll explain them. Um, and yeah. All right. So and so he's bringing in a level one threat there because brother data really kind of faltered. You also get the idea that he faltered because he, uh, no, he was really. Um, he is. He was ready to be absorbed by exactly, Nova Blue. Exactly. Yeah. He's he's upset Distracted. to be alive. Exactly. Uh, the, <coughs> the follower. The followers are now a level one. They are a minor a minor help to you guys. Um, the assault cannons are needed. They're the, essentially if you get him down, you have a plan. You have the orcs on the assault cannons. So you have uh, so and the assault the assault cannons are there. They can do the job if he is down and if you hold him down. Okay, go ahead. If that would make him give him more incentive to <clears throat> be better with the drones or whatever, I'll go up to him and tell him, look, I will put you with Nova Blue when this is over. My word, nothing will deter me, nothing will stop me. If what do we need for him? More drones? He can work harder. <laughs> yeah, he can work harder, work smarter, work better. Oh, you're telling you're t- you're telling Brother Data. He's good. I will talk. Yeah. I will deliver you. <laughs> I, I will personally deliver you to Nova Blue oh, swiftly God. and painlessly, unless you want pain. <laughs> I will allow. I will trip. allow that one more roll. All oh, right. Man. Uh, go ahead. Twelve. Good what luck. What are the chances this roll, the same die rolling bad three times? Easy roller dice. Don't fail me. Oh! oh! He's, he's just, brother Data's out. <laughs> he's, he's brother Data out. All right, all right. I shocked him too much. By the way, half a point. That was a, that was a great idea. <clears throat> um, the lore is in place. It's going to be 100 percent effective. He absolutely wants to talk to him. Uh, we need your roll now for the unmanned plane. <laughs> uh, my roll to what? Uh, to get an unmanned I, plane I don't in, the, in the hair. It's a tier five ability. I spent three, three intellect, and it's mine. Wow, it's, it's right. six, yeah. but I have an edge. Yeah, so I got two you. intellect. I, yeah, bring it. Spend, spend good. an edge Done. of an edge right. of four. Um, and then, uh, oh, here's one other thing: the rockets have just gone up hugely, and the reason why is you're going to be able to fight. Oh, I'll, so you have to talk with the leader of the Orc Underground. So, Gar- and actually, you talk. The, the leader of the Orc Underground is extremely busy right now, telling all his men what to do. So, you talk to Garrett, and you realize. You have the rockets. You can use the rockets on him. And the biggest reason was the whole reason the rockets were gotten was to get him on the ground. Your lore, having him talk to Nova Blue, is a brilliant plan. The, the rockets are not even needed for that. They can be used on him on the ground, right? Mm. But the blowback could kill probably 10 to 20 orcs because they're going to be close enough to use those salt cannons. That's a really small yeah. number when you said 500 to 1,000 people exactly. could die. Yeah, but it's guaranteed. If you if you use those rockets, it will be hugely effective mm-hmm. against him. But you know it's going to kill orcs. Uh, um, do you want to take that request to uh, to the leader of the orc underground, Ahmed, right, to Ahmed, or do you want to get take the rockets out of the plan? 
and just use the assault cannons. Uh, we need the rockets, so I'll talk okay. about it. All right. So, um, actually, uh, you are a long-time trusted uh, you know, member of the Orc Underground. You have not you you have not overused that, and you've had that ability. He accepts it. He says, "We're ready. We're going to take the risk." I, I think. Um, uh, I yeah. think once we get through with this, Nova Blue might be able to uh, hack some funds towards the orcs and whatnot. Uh, ten. And now there are ten. Uh, then there are two Shadowrun teams, free and clear. A minor, a minor asset, right? Um, and then uh, you have the. Uh, and then finally the Orc Underground. So wait, this is going to be asset. And the followers are an asset. And the assault cannon. Uh, do we have a problem if we send uh, are, one, of, one of those uh, missiles? The assault, the assault cannons are not an asset. Elves. The unmanned plane is an asset. You might not like that. The rockets are an the asset. assault plane, what about it? Well, no, there's 5,000 more. Uh, elves the, your two are an asset. Trying to stop us. And um, the orc underground. And the orc uh, underground are just needed. You no, guys they're, are bringing they're not involved four involved. assets to the roll. That's all right. right yeah. If we take out the dragon, they won't They've be They've chosen their side. Yeah. Now, okay. where in the city... Uh, so at that point, everything's set. And everybody's coming to you guys, and they're all swarming around. And, um, you know, all these people are coming around. They're saying, where do you need me? You know, or, and so Orc Underground people are <coughs> coming to you. And then um, also... Um, uh, the Shadowrun team, the two Shadowrun teams come to you. Actually, all the Shadowrun teams come to you, and you tell eight of them, go take care of Shryware and Shadowrun teams um, are coming to you. All these different teams are, are coming to you, you know, and and uh, expressing where you need them. And then Skeleth comes forward, and he goes, where do you need me, boss? <laughs> do you take his help, or do you send him away? Uh, I'm trying to think. What can he possibly do? He drives a race car. Yeah, it's true. And actually, you know this too. You see a lot of Nova Blues followers getting lined up, and you know these guys are going to be part of that 500 dead <laughs> number. <laughs> so, yeah. Go hang with Ralph. He goes, we'll do. <coughs> he goes, Watch over him for me. Absolutely. So he so he heads off. off. Um, and at that point, uh, all you know, everybody starts coming in. You you start making the calls for the talismongers and realize that they're not there. I'm giving you half a line, half a point for point five points for the idea. It was a great idea, and you just didn't have time to use it. Um, and Katarina Savin shows up as well. Oh. And but it's really kind of sad because she has like this completely fashion oriented what looks like a military outfit. <laughs> no armor. <laughs> and you're like, oh man, what am I gonna do? But she shows up and says, you know, I, I heard of it through the grapevine, what's happening? How can I assist? Do you oh. send her anywhere or keep her with you or what? Uh, let's see. So we still have the the assault cannons working. We still have... Uh, so the unmanned plane, um, the drones, which are all being used by Brother Data, the really the only place to put her is literally shooting and stabbing the creature when it's down. Well, that's where I'm going to be. I got so. a job. I got so a job. So you have her with you? Yeah. All right. I've got a but job. Do I need go. any? Do I need any equipment for this? Like or oh, where you want? Weapon? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so actually, at that point. Um, she she does take out an or, just an oracalcum charm and gives it to you, but she also uh, brings out a bento box, which is like a lunch, Aww. right? And it has all the fresh uh, elven food in it. Go ahead. So I'm thinking, you know, only one dragon has ever been killed by non-dragons, right? That's correct. We need someone to film this really well. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We gotta, you know, like we, we could probably so make you, some money. You put Katarina. So, do you want to send Katarina over with a with a camera on? With a, with yeah, we'll with get her and Skelth on it. You know, yeah, and it could exactly. be like wide yeah. wide angle. Wide angle. Is there any way I can address our entire army? Yes, a Prosperity red day speech. speech. Posterity. Half a point for that, yes. you can, and I'll, I'll bring Posterity. everybody together. So at this <laughs> point, yeah. um, everybody's in these <laughs> underground parking lots, and you're about to come up into a park area. And there's a large park area where you guys are going to, are going to have Nova Blue uh, manifest. Is and actually, in the underground, Nova Blue manifests and comes forward you know, to talk with you, and you can <clears> go ahead for your speech. Okay. I tell them. This day... We rise up against a tyrannical beast that promises our destruction. This day, we send the message we will not be stepped on. 
We will not be downtrodden. We will not bow down. This day, we rise up and we destroy a monster. Indeed. And you hear, <laughs> from a bunch of monsters. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to put in there a speech that is an asset. If well, I may. <clears throat> In the penance day. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Totally in the penance day. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay. All right. So at that point, um, you actually at, at that point you everyone like surges above the streets and comes in in all these different areas around the park, coming in and this will occur. Oh, and then also uh, uh, here's one last thing. Fazine actually shows up in person, and yeah, you know, like she's and it's the first time you guys have met in person. And she says, "Don't send me away, boss. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping." Now, do you do you, do you put her up on a building with a camera, or do you keep her down there with you? Uh, she needs to. She needs to be hacking. So. There you go. Yeah. Like, so yeah. You know, I want. I want her safe. Yeah. Um, but I absolutely. Also... All right. So at that point, oh, that's gonna get ugly. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah. So let's do it. All right, so I just want to grab this real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I didn't want to tell you where it happens. All right, so this is going to be near Neonet, right in Bellevue, right here, okay? And so there's a there's a beautiful park. There is um, a, a Neonet uh, enclave. It's this huge building that's shaped like a pyramid. And there's all these gleaming spires off of it, and the park is extremely well lit. The park is beautiful, right? <laughs> you guys have everybody in position, right? And at that point, um, now here's, <coughs> here's a question: Nova Blue, you, Nova, you know Nova Blue. You can call him, mm -hmm. right? You've known him from the beginning. Yep. You can speak to him natively. Um, do you walk into the center of? So actually, at that point, Nova Blue manifests and begins to walk into the center of the park. You are a hacker, okay? There is no logical reason for you to move into the center where Shrywaren will descend. Okay. I don't want to be anywhere near there. So, uh, so at that point, you're you give him a good clap on his screen and you <laughs> you jet right. Absolutely. And Vizine's like, we're not gonna go up with him. <laughs> and she's, didn't you, she's, didn't you hear Dredge Hammer's speech? <laughs> Styx is like, it's a freaking dragon. I've seen it up close and personal. <laughs> So I'm I'm going to share uh, you know the the feed from my camera when I met him yeah. and oh not... my gosh <laughs> but she's like yeah let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, so and then also um, Raphael are you going to um, are you actually going to be physically at the area the only value it will have. Is it will bolster all the forces that you brought and may actually turn them in from one asset to two assets. Because yeah, I'll be it. there in the Armadon. Oh boy. Oh, in the Armadon? <laughs> then you don't get an asset. Just sitting uh, there in your truck is not going to help. That all doesn't right. count. Sure. All right, but you are bringing the Armadon in and you're going to be able to train the bullets and stuff, stuff right? So, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I'll be there. I'll, yeah. But in, I'll bring the Armadon. This is all okay. Right. Now, the two of you. You, your speech is way too good. You're going to need to be there with the orcs. Are you all right yeah, with that? Absolutely. That. Uh, grand, Mike, grand, same thing. Your physical combatant, are you going to be in there uh, as well? Did I not already say I'm <laughs> doing that and that's yeah, why I wanted absolutely. the orc-halcom weapons? Do I need to make a speech too? Because I'm good at that too. <laughs> <laughs> so one, one it's going to be two, uh, two points to both of you guys, all right? Um, and then you have a decision. These two have, they have historical reasons not to be on the physical site. You actually have magical blasts that can reach in. Uh, you, can br you can bring in a hailstorm, any of those kind of things. Do you want to be physically in there, bolstering the troops you're bringing and giving them aid? Or do you want to be at a range? Oh no, I have power gauntlets and I expect to use them. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> can you he are. magically try and protect some of the orcs? <clears throat> some of the orcs? Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There's no question of that. Yep, so there was ten or twenty that, that were going to, that, yeah, that were going to <laughs> die, and that that's actually a good, uh, an excellent point. Um, so that we're expected to die. So he will actually be able to cut that easily in half. So now we'll cap that at ten. All right. Uh, for from that one specific event, I um the rest actually of the say we who were about to die. I actually, die. I'm going to re, I'm going to change this a little bit because like our first meeting with Shiren, right? He, like, basically, yo, I was definitely one of the ones that said, sided with Nova Blue and said, I'm totally going against you. 
I'm going to walk out there with Nova Blue. Wow. And I'm going to have all my drones ready to, to fire yeah. off. Now, they are surrounding you, and you are going to, mm -hmm. because you're going to get the two points as well. You are physically there. The only person who is not physically there, which I do, I do uh, understand, because you have laid that down as a as a character point. I rolled yeah. a natural one on my, <laughs> on my saving turn versus yes. fear. Right. I'm yeah. literally terrified of it. So Absolutely. as we're, as I'm walking out with Nova Blue, I'm discussing the situation with Corbin and how I need him to shepherd her out. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, so at this mm -hmm. point, you are talking with him, and he, and he starts to talk with you in earnest. And uh, and at that point, you've explained the situation to him, and he turns to you and he says, "In order to bring out Corbin, what we need." And at that point, literally, the shadow of Shrayrant's wings comes out. He comes down and slams these huge, like six foot claws directly into the ground. The ground shakes, right? And, and he roars, like whips his heads around, and he goes, Nova Blue, he says, I have come for you from Tir Nanog. I bring fire and death, right? <laughs> and at that point, he just slams down, and it was super easy to get there. He's been wanting to get there. Yeah, exactly. On to on. Now, <laughs> I hate to do this, all right? Here's how this, here's how this works, all right? This <coughs> is, so Nova Blue is a ninth level threat. There's only 10 levels within this game, right? Yes. And the only thing that stats him is a demigod, right? And so the way this works is just as he has the ability to slay NPCs, he has an ability to slay NPCs. We're going to go around this table, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody but Ted, because Ted is physically not there to be killed, right? You will be making a defense roll for your life, right? If you if you sir, if you make that defense roll, you live. If you fail that defense roll, you die fighting Shrywaren. And then we will make one final roll, at, and all of these rolls, unfortunately, at our level 27, right? Are at a level 27, and then you will make a level 27 roll with all of your assets to destroy Shrywaren. Now, let me explain what happens, okay? At that point, he slams down. There's no conversation with, Shry with, with Nova Blue. Immediately from every so immediately from he raises his hands and you can see uh he raises his claws he's huge his wingspan goes out a hundred feet right and he immediately just opens his maw and blasts this black green fire that blazes around i just want to yeah. say real quick i'm calling four sessions Four sessions is the number. Four sessions, yeah. you got it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, because I always say three, five, seven. But I can just shorten it to four. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> well, this group has a knack for doing things that you aren't ready for expecting. <laughs> That's true. That is absolutely <clears throat> true. Yeah. Uh, so at that point, um, he he begins you know kicking fire around. And you could see all of his Shadowrun teams start coming out, and they're blasting away, right? And they have their own rocket launchers. There's rocket launchers, you know, firing everywhere. Um, there are GMC armored. There are actually, there's a tank. You see a tank roll in, like, from this side, right? There's chaos erupts, right? And you could see that, that Shrywaren is losing it a little bit. Um, in that his head is just, like, it's frenzied. And you can see that he's almost foaming. But... He has, uh, you can see also, he has a ring on each finger, and from each one of those triggers a different spell, right? And then he starts raking literally, you know, around uh, the area. And the spells are all going, or the vast majority of them are going to, uh, to Nova Blue. And uh, he, it's clear that he's been aided by Technomancers to find every place where he is and he and his intention is as soon as he knows where the servers are he'll have individual teams going to to take them out and to route them out so it, it, it either he's gone and he's not around to pay or he sh or he will finish the job with with nova blue at that point we're going to go around you are spared because you are physically not there uh the rest uh so at that point tell me so with with that um happening what do you do physically to shry wearing and then, how do you deal with his physical attack on you with his claws? Well, I'm gonna shoot him with my with your with your prototype weapon. Yeah, indeed, indeed. All right. <clears throat> so at that point, you um, one, 
uh, all of the orcs look your way, right? And you, uh, the first thing that happens is his his tail whips around, slams into the ground. And you you pull up, right, and and go to fire on him, uh, and actually to fully unload and just like keep you know keep that fire going. Um, and at that point, you are going to make a defense roll at a twenty-seven. That is going to be speed. So, what is your current speed value? My current speed in pools, yeah, is fourteen. All right. Now, it's at a 27. You can use all three levels of your effort, which means you can take that down from a 27 all the way to an 18. Uh, you owe me seven points of your pool, so you have to mark your pool down to 14, and you're currently at an 18. Um, you are not skilled in speed defense. Let me see your sheet. You may be. Yeah, uh, I'm want to skilled in every skill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. Know all skills, something like that. Yeah. And then we'll uh, have something. So let's see what you got. You, oh, and you do have three, 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 three points of armor. Um, oh, by the way, I'm gonna. So your armor, I'm gonna actually. It's uh, Aries Green Light Live Body Armor. That is gonna be an asset. That's gonna take it from your 18 to a 15. Uh, and then Chop Mighty Blow, Skill Heavy Ranged Weapons, uh, Exceptional Weapon, uh, <coughs> Rage, which is that weapon. Um, and then weapon defense when, when you choose weapon it's in your hand you're trained in speed defense oh uh, yeah so you can't use your axe that won't help uh, experienced defender uh, yeah so that's going to give you and that's going to take it to a 12 if you roll a 12 you will one um, you will be aiding in the final roll uh, and you certainly do slam quite a few bullets into him but this is to see if you live 12, you live. 11 and lower, you die. And you will be no skewered pressure. by uh, skewered by one of his spells. Well, remember, you can... Uh, can, can he use any of uh, the... XP? That? Yes, everybody's got to... If you have one XP, you can use a... 16, re bitches! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well done. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's true. So if you have one XP, you will be able to re-roll once. All right. All right. So I've got reaction, dodge... Wait, wait. So wait. 24... Keep going. Dodge. Dodge. Wait, wait, 21. And then I can give two stages of effort. All right. That will take you from 18 to a 15. All right. And, uh, yeah, and that and, and that's pretty much you everything. You said his armor was an asset. Right. He's, he has, he, he I is have armor. More, I have more armor. That's true. You're absolutely right. That takes you to a 12 as well. All right. Good luck. Here we go. All right. Ooh, that's an 11. Oh. Uh, that's got to be a reroll, so or a re -roll. Del or Deldrak Falls. What do you got? You do have one whole <coughs> point of experience. I have four XP. Oh, you're good. That's fine. Now, actually, you can only do that once. So this is your real roll. Good luck. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, <laughs> Deldrak Falls. All right. So at that point, okay. Do you want to tell us what happens with Deldrak, or should I tell you? I don't know. This, this, let's, yeah. let's. I think we should do all everyone's. Roll first, and yeah. then we'll go back through. We'll go back and decide That's what true. happened. Yes, exactly. Unless you want to go first, uh, you uh, can wrap it now. Yeah, think, think. All right, all right. Make sure it's, make first sure thing I do is I have right. four uh, Horizon flying eyes. I send all four of them into Shrywin's Shri face, exploding them all. Wow. Um, they detonate in the smoke clouds, yeah. uh, smoke bombs, to try and throw off his aim. Okay. I have a plus two suit of armor. The suit that I had got tallered to me. Um, seeing death coming for me, uh, one, I, you know, as soon as, as soon as the shadow dropped, I, or even before then, I had already programmed my three MCT rotor drones to take up a position and uh, use the, the buzzsaw maneuver. So it was basically when they fly in a circle and just lay down suppression fire. Holy cows. Uh, my Ares duelist is standing, you know, by my side. Uh, ready to defend me uh, and I don't know that that'll be enough so um, as soon as I see the shadow I dive underneath of the steel links Ooh, man okay that's excellent that is w well done uh, so one for everything that you just described I'm giving one asset right there so you're at a 24 to begin with um, 
And actually, yeah, yeah. So you're out of twenty four to begin with. All of that was only one. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> that is everything I have. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. All right. So wait. Uh, so oh, you don't have armor, correct? No, no, he, no he's not armor. I, I, I have a little bit of armor. Plus level two. One. It's plus two. Okay. So that yeah, that will give you. So so wait. Let's yeah. I'm sorry. Let's, all right. Let's take it back. We'll take it from the top. Okay. The, so so your bombs have... that are putting down suppression suppression fire. One level for that. Okay. Um, then I have four flying eyes, and oh, right. I have it's a one use face. one use, right. use ability to make them explode into smoke bombs. Right. I will give you one, uh, and you're using them all now. Uh, oh, and they're smoke bombs. Yeah, that's one. So uh, that so that's going to take you at twenty four. It's at twenty one now. Okay. What else you got? The armor. The armor you said was one. The armor is one, so that's eighteen. He's oh, and then you're gonna you're going to go under the links. Yeah, I'm diving under right? the links. So and he's using jump. he's using so his fifteen. Uh, you said you were using the other the other drone to defend you. Y yeah, but I don't know what yeah. that's going to actually do. You're at fifteen. So what well, got? actually, the um. What I'm, is the other drone? The, is that your is that your um my Ares the, the the sword drone? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll have him you, take you, the shot for me. That takes you to twelve. Okay. Do and you we, have effort? Oh yeah, I do have effort. I have twelve. Speed that I, I'll spend all my speed. All right. So how many levels? Um, well, I have twelve points, so it's three, so three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So you can do five levels of effort. Uh, well, I, don't, I only have four, so. Okay, so three, five, seven, nine, <coughs> nine points. Nine points. Okay. Yeah, that's a three. That is a two on the die. I will spend. Oh man, <laughs> that is a five. You oh. did it. Oh. Wow. Just barely. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so you literally <laughs> turn right under the links. And the links I hate you, you easy roller dice. <laughs> Don't use the black and yellow. I'm retired. It kept you alive. <laughs> no way. That dice is found. Way too, yeah, way too bad. That was way too close. Way too close. Uh, by the way, the links, uh, like, the links. I'm sure everything is trash that I Yeah, <laughs> it explodes and, like, falls over. And, like, the brunt of it is kept. Hit it. Okay, so does the smoke bomb he just made, does that affect me at all? Um, Would that help you with me not getting you? Uh, No, because... It's each yeah, individual. No, yeah. yeah. Okay. What do um, you bring? I have... Oh, so trained. one, both of the Tamarins, are you allowing them to go on to the creature? Are you allowing them to go forward? Would they be able to, like... They'll each be an asset if, they, if you release them. If so I release them? Two. Yeah. Mm. Two assets right there. Yeah. Would they be dead if I did That's that? Good, I want to give you an individual roll for both. <sighs> yeah. Either they're dead or you're dead. Exactly. You have a 17 in your speed, and you have for trust me. Sometimes you're pets gonna, die. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have what to do you got? everything. How many, okay, how many are so you releasing? Zero, one, or two? I uh, can I go back to that? Oh yeah, you want to see what else you got? So yeah. I have trained without armor, and uh, that's I gonna be an I asset. I can't wear armor because I fine. have that. Um, I have danger sense, which is a speed point. Does that uh, help me? That, no, all? like that's like that's like Spider-Man being surrounded by Doc Ock and like all his major enemies go. Oh, my spider sense! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this could be dangerous. No, that's not helpful. Um, you could summon summon a swarm to cl get, throw in his face. That's true. You could yeah. bring in the birds. I'll do that. All right, so you bring in the birds. All right, that is all the local birds, right? And um, by the way, unfortunately, so you call forth with all the animals in the area, and like all these ravens and uh, pigeons and all you come out. But also, it's kind of sad. Like badgers and possums are running towards the dragon, and you're like, no, no, I didn't call you guys, right? <laughs> so yeah, and there's a devil rat that comes out of <laughs> the sewer. And you're like, oh, that's nasty. <laughs> right? like, oh, go away. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So uh, all right, that is. So you were at. Wait, the birds brought you to twenty four. The um, uh, you trained said that probably, uh, trained with our armor. Well, I do have a question. Like because he has the summon ability. Like if he pours all of his summon into that, does that yeah yeah change? Oh, you know what? Because I haven't right. summoned at all. Because I, mean, I have five yeah. times that is going to be two. So that's going to take you to an eighteen. Oh, man. you got anything else? Um, bring it down to a twelve with both hammers. I know. I'm trying to not have to do that. So is this a speed thing? Yes. You can okay. spend four effort. <laughs> Yes, I, I want to do that. What is, right. it, is it an eighteen? Um, is that an eighteen now? Yeah. So four effort is twelve. 
I'm gonna bring it down to a I six. I have two edge. If that helps, it's gonna be really expensive. What's your cost? Don't worry about the cost because you know it's you're either gonna die or you're gonna get everything back. Okay. So you're at a so, six yes, now. You're at a six. Good luck. A six. Oh, and actually, if you take if you spend if you take both your tamarins out, there's no roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one? but I will roll for them individually. Yeah. Well, no, no, you're the GM. You don't roll. He does. That's true. <laughs> Wait, so like, it, what would what would the, would the roll be? Another twenty-seven. So one, if you use both your tamarins, you have no possibility of dying, but both of your ta tamarins could die. Yeah, but like, is there a twenty-seven as well? Oh, y yes, it is. Absolutely. How? Yeah. They In don't fact, have you're anything. probably gonna have to roll a twenty for them to live. So, do, uh, do you have XP? I have two point four yeah, XP. Yeah, you're fine. So you do so get you a reroll. I know I need to a, make six. a six. Okay. All right, you doing it? All right. Okay, Dai, you have been good all to right, me all night. Got. Please don't be bad. That's the 19. 19. 19. 19. That's done. I'm done. not dead, and I have both my tamarins. And actually, actually, I, oh, I get a bonus actually, effect. I, yeah, you do get a bonus. I effect. have magic. Can I revive him? Actually, you do save him. Oh yes. my goodness! That's, 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 High five me! I had this whole thing planned out. <laughs> yes. So your bonus effect? Well, you can still do it. You drop and then he revives you. <laughs> right. It's I actually. So I, I, wait. I have a proposal. So then. I have, so, oh, did, so you did. So one, we'll go back. All of you have lived through. Okay. I want to know what you guys do to the dragon before we see if he is killed or if he escapes. All right. So go ahead. What were you gonna say? All right. So. Comes down at me with his huge ass claw. <laughs> Dodge out of the way. Hop on here. Comes up. I get my I get my blade right in his eye. He's had enough of me. Goes to sl slam it down on the ground. He teleports me. Oh, there you go. That's excellent. That's excellent. And so, in a swirl of leaves, you like uh, you go away, <laughs> and then you come and you and you're like, why am I in a tree? <laughs> why am I in a tree? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, and actually, so at that point. Um, your drones have, you know, gone all around. Uh, and, yeah, there's and, nothing for yeah, me to say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I crash a plane into him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, at this point, you continue to, like, fire into him, right? And I throw yeah. a bandolier of, of grenades. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> right, it goes off, right? Um, you continue, and, and actually, at that point, you start to call, you know, fourth elements of nature. You're able to bring, you know, call one lightning bolt out of the sky, which crackles into him. And then, at that point, he actually finally falls, just like you said. And the orcs just go to town on uh, on on the. Um, well, I was having to fall to like you know sort of rub me out. But now, <laughs> yeah, now <laughs> looks like meat right, back yeah. on the menu, boys. Every, every <laughs> single person roll a d20 for me and times that value by three. Can, can I roll this one? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> An eighteen. Ooh, nice. I got a nineteen. Oh, a ten. All so right, it's gonna be uh, sixty. I got a twelve. Sixty. All right, hold on, one second. Can we multiply so, by three? Yeah. 30. 60 of the orcs that have come, pass. 57. 50, uh, hold on. Orcs. Uh, and the, the orcs are the ones who are closest, right? And they do their job well, right? Uh, 57 of um, Nova Blue's followers fight. Now, one of the things that you are shocked by is their extremely poorly trained most of them are not combat types but they are so believe they truly believe in nova blue and many of them are you know kind of pushed through and you're i amazed. always believed they would be the fiercest yeah. ones on the battlefield yes exactly uh what do you got because they're fighting 58. for their god indeed so uh 58 uh that and um uh, so what could be said here? Oh, oh 58. Uh, so all, so this whole uh, park is lined by corporate enclaves, and all these people are at the glass. Well, half the glass shatters when all these rockets go off, and 58 corporate uh, corporate salary uh, men and women are, are killed. Oh, it sounds uh, like my yeah. lower is going to be good. Yeah, yeah exactly, are, are killed. Uh, what do you got? Uh, yeah, what do you got? I got a four, which makes 12. Four. Oh, so uh, and, uh, 12, so total. twelve. Only twelve shadow runners die. Nice. <laughs> and of actually, us or only total? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Only twelve shadow. None of you guys die, which is pretty. Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, out of the, are the only the good guys, or the good guys and the bad guys. Uh, oh, that's a great point. Uh, that half of those were yours, and half of those were shrine winners as well. That's a great point. So twelve shadow runners, and the shadow runners. Like, you know, you see all these, like, orcs fighting, <coughs> and you definitely see Nova Blues people fighting. 
the Shadowrunners do a lot of effective stuff, but they look cool doing it. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> right. And uh, and then last, what do you got? I rolled a ten, which would be a thirty. Thirty. And so at that point, um, thirty. Thirty million animals are just wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> Your summoning was really good. You know, the last thirty. That is thirty vehicles that were destroyed and are now burning around the park. Right? They're going to be so. Bombs. So the total was relatively low. That's 100. Uh, so we have uh, that's 120, 180. Uh, that is 190, 194 people are killed by Shri by Shri We were way below the average. Yeah, way we're below like the average. Stars. Exactly. We're going to be legends. Okay, exactly. Legends. Way below the average. So, uh, and that's it. That's the final roll. Go ahead. So can we get that tank? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to. Wait, wait. Tank. We still need to roll for Shryman to see if he's killed or if he escapes. All right. And um, so, and it, actually, it is exactly what your research said. So, um, you know, he is either goes down or by the time that all those bullets have been spent and the rockets are sent in and the unmanned plane cl crashes he, into him. Take yeah. into account if he lives and he changes to a human, he is irradiated. Oh, he is irradiated. We spent ten God, grand on that. Exactly so. right. That's fantastic. So whether whether his shape yeah. changes or not, that's still affecting him. And you know what? I'm going to give a second roll for that. That's what will uh, represent the irradiation. If he does not die on the first, you will have a second roll. If you miss the second roll, he does escape, even with the irradiation. And he used the same trick he can did, you, can, cutting it out. <laughs> can he re-roll both of them? Uh, no, 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 no. He's gonna. He, we're going to roll those twice. Okay. Uh, and at that point. Um, you are the Techomancer. You brought Nova Nova Blue to the party. I want you to make the roll. Okay. Now, uh, here's your assets, right? Would you like to use my die? Uh, minor, no. Uh, <laughs> your minor drones are one asset. Your follower, uh, the Nova Blue's followers are another asset. So 24, 21. Unmanned plane, 18. The rockets, 15. Uh, the two additional Shadowrun teams, 12. Um, and your speech takes it to a nine because your people uh, fought so hard that is a total of a nine uh now clearly um there this is for the whole team so there's no effort it's a nine flat good luck no pressure that's a nine with a nine that is nine on the, on the die yeah. and at that point <laughs> um so at that Tie point goes to the runner meat. yeah it's indeed, meat. It's indeed. <laughs> and so at that point the final blow you know so uh Actually, is the play? Yeah, actually, they, they unload in the uh, with with the assault cannons, and finally, you know, there's like this. Literally, the smoke clears, and you're the first one to go up, and you you lay your hand on him, and you you call out, "There's no pulse. He's dead. He's dead." And everybody just the rushes beast is in, dead. right? You know, and and just pour into into the area, and uh, and at that point, this has been like this is the second time this is that humans have ever killed. Dragons. It's happened a few other times where dragons have fought and killed each other, but this is Dunkelzon was the first of the dragons to be killed in the Shadowrun world, and Shrywaren is the second. And how that, much is that dragon worth to the talisman mongers? Oh my god, <laughs> fortune. Yeah. So well, and actually, got, I will ask that. that. So at this point, um, you guys have no further um, monetary need to Shadowrun. Does Dredgehammer continue to Shadowrun, or does he take his wealth? And what does what would he do with it? Uh, besides, <laughs> besides starting the troll underground, why is there troll underground? <laughs> Definitely does that. No, no. What does Dredge does? Oh, what, here's here's. Does, tell me what Dredgehammer does. Does he retire and go off to a, an island? Does he continue to shadow run? With this unnamed team, or does he return to the oh, house? We've, got, we've, got, a, the we've got a new name. Oh, yeah. we're Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Does he continue Shadowrun with the Dragon Slayers, or does he return to the Howling Spiders? Um, I'll stay with the Dragon Slayers. Nice, well done, well done. Uh, by the way, I, I'm going to give four points, one full tier, to your character. Uh, so you get one. So you get four, four XP. Your character. So it puts um, me at 11 XP yes. every night. Wow. So, I, go I'm ahead. currently sitting at only 30,000 30, roughly. Ah. Uh, you know, that's after my expenditures for for this current current endeavor. And this is probably the most amount of money I've spent on... Oh, yeah. You on, blew on, out a lot of cash. So, like, 
I can send that money money back because I mean there's still stuff that needs that needs to be done for for home. But I haven't been running all that long. I think there's more that can be can more be, be done. done. Absolutely. And uh, the other issue is the other question is with Nova Blue, you have earned his right to stay in the city. Um, you do speak with him for uh, uh, oh, and actually at that point, one last question. Do you release Brother Data into Nova Blue, as you had promised? Yeah, I promised him. I gave my word. Once you realize that, you realize that Nova Blue should be the last, um, the last artificial yeah, intelligence for a minimum of five years. You expect twenty. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. personally don't have a problem with AI. With so. yeah, continuing absolutely. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't a big proponent. Of, you know, again, oh no, One artificial question. intelligence. Did he choose painless or painful? <laughs> uh, he, he chose painless okay. and silent. Yes, absolutely. Lovingly. All right, he yeah. chose lovingly. Yeah, absolutely. So it would have been done with the axe. One swipe. You do have that monofilament axe. Katarina is extremely happy and got excellent footage. Right? <laughs> uh, so now, and actually, one thing she asked you to do is one. You know, one. By oh, let me. I'll say this right out of the gate. Each of you get twenty five k just from minimum of what is harvested from Shrywaren. Right. So that's twenty five k. And by the way, for uh, one tier, four XP. Oh, you mean quarter tier. Yeah. No, one tier. One tier. That's period. sixteen. That's sixteen. XP. Right. Exactly. You guys slew a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. And if anybody didn't know, it's, it's clear the end of this campaign. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah, sorry, uh, yeah. Changing yeah. my character. One tier. Exactly. So uh, we yeah. got another four XP. Uh, it's, it's no. A total of you 16. check four boxes. It's sixteen XP. But it doesn't really matter because yeah. he's ending the game. We're wrapping. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so Katarina, one of the things she says first right out of the gate is she's like, we have a lot of work to do with the Elven Court. I think you should come with me to the Elven Court, um, not here in Seattle, in Tier Tarangir, in the actual forests. Um, I can get you access and I, I need your help. We have a lot of work to do there because we, sh they should have never allied with this dragon. We just saw what he did. He killed 200 people. Uh, will you come back with me into the Elven Courts? Well, one of, Del one of Deldrak's earliest motivations was to get into the fusion of flesh and steel school. But now he... But oh, now the steel void path. Go yeah, back to yeah, Japan? The steel void path. That's awesome. However, <laughs> however, while I would love to go back to the, <coughs> to the steel void school and see if they would accept me again, I feel that I have finally found where I belong in this world to do the most good, not just improving myself, but improving others. You will go back with me? Yeah. Absolutely. So, I you were going to say, I'm, I'm a dragon slayer now, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did we get to 25k and, uh, for? Oh, a bit of farts. farewell. Try, try, try where its body is okay. harvested. Um, and a bit of farewell to you guys. Uh, I mean, it's been great. I, I want to, I, I don't know what exactly, you know, can be made as far as, you know, tooth or claw, but... I need some kind oh, of. Oh, you want know, some, yeah. I, I need something. You to want like, dragon yeah. skin boots, right? <laughs> exactly what you're saying. So, yeah. Like, Work a scale into my armor. <laughs> so it, can, can I? Can I say I'll take five grand of that to get worked into? Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All right, I'll do that so too. I'll, I'll, no, I, actually, you don't need to do that because Garrett is handling oh. Garrett. The talismonger is handling all of it, and so she will give you parts, right? So For actually, like yeah. So um, actually. Uh, think about it because I don't have it right off the top of my head but you can both <coughs> have one significant piece of equipment that comes directly from him I just yeah. I just want you know a, a necklace be like yep that's the dragon yeah, I killed absolutely. yeah you don't have to take 5k I out for that this. yeah all right and, uh, yeah and so you go you go to tier Tarangir. Excellent, and also I really appreciate you remembering the Steel Void Path. I know, I mean, it was... and actually it is bittersweet because you were like, oh, I was really set to go complete my training in the Steel Void Path in Japan. But go ahead. Um, as for what I would want, it'd be either his one of his massive scales worked into my entire armor. Nice. I, 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 I don't expect it to have any gameplay per effect other than. 
I did do that. I have dragon skill. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, actually, it would one have one thing. Now, I'm just going to make kind of a confession here. So you guys really got to see the full sweep of Shadowrun in there. But whenever we do these campaigns, there's always, like, one thing I can't squeeze in. And I will tell you right now, we had one caster. And I never really showed you guys what casters can do in Shadowrun. They are nasty as all get out. And one of the problems is they are just like you. They can actually cast and not be in the physical space. And I, I, and one of the reasons why I didn't even break that open was I didn't know how to handle it because I wasn't sure that you guys were going to be able to handle that. All because four people could do nothing, and I was like, I don't know if I want to send him directly in. So just be aware, in a regular Shadowrun game, a better GM would have shown uh, a, a wider array of talents from arcane casters. Just, you know, just, cause, and the only reason I'm even mentioning is there's awesome Shadowrun uh, GMs out there, and, and if they're watching this thing, they're like, where are all the casters? So, but I'm just kind <laughs> They're of, right but, here. Yeah. There's three yeah, of them, actually. Exactly, yeah. Uh, you're an unusual caster, yeah. though, yeah. Uh, and the, the reason why is we never dipped into the asteroids. It's a big part of the game, and I never really got to show it. So my point is, Maybe one day you guys will get to play with a full uh, Shadowrun gamer who can show the Astral as well as some of the other parts. But it's a big deal. All right, because I do think I, f I did a good job of showing the Matrix. So you have to see the Matrix. But the, the I don't think anybody in our group really <laughs> dealt in the Astral, though. Well, uh, that's and that, that's one of the reasons why I was really wary to bring in some serious Astral enemies. So mm -hmm. I wasn't sure how to handle that. But anyway, but at this point, let's get on with it. So. Raphael, he uh, so Skeleth lives, right? Um, and uh, Raphael uh, is is he still dedicated to bringing Corbin? Oh yeah, out? absolutely. So he continues <laughs> in his shadow running and never gives up on getting Corbin out. Correct. I, I think with Nova Blue's, well, that's help. what I want to know: is yeah. Nova Bill Blue able to go in and bring her and out? Bring Corbin out because that absolutely. that has never been tried. Yeah. And so, so I will give her that. It's going to take actually about three to six months, but I'll give a I'll give a roll right now for that. All so right. give me a you, die. Uh, <laughs> so so Nova Blue does befriend himself with your team, and really, you know, he, mm -hmm. he works with you guys pretty frequently. He does spend the next three to six months doing that, and that is going to be for uh, <coughs> it is a level twenty-seven. Uh, I'm sorry, a level twenty-four. It is level twenty-four. Nova Blue is two assets himself, which brings it to 18. <coughs> Your dedication assist. brings it to a 15. I will assist. Uh, that's going to bring it to a 12. Are you aiding with Corbin? I can try as much yeah. as possible. Well, actually, you know what? Let's not throw him in yet because we haven't gotten to him. So okay. you're at a 12. That's a 12. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. What, you, what kind of check is it? Oh. Okay. So uh, what did you say? You, yeah, and, I, and actually, I think you, your I guy a bit about Shadow Run. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it takes it to a 9. I'm not leaving immediately. Yeah, is you there, are. You're not going to be there for three months. Like, You're going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind that. Yeah. What, not in, immediately, intellect? but like you can't help for three months. For a three is it month an project. intellect? It is intellect, yeah. And, and I'm so at a nine? You're at a nine. Oh, I'll pour everything into it and just make it. Uh, for effort? Yes. Um, I don't know if I can allow that. Well, no. I will allow it go to a three. Okay. Yeah, you got to make your roll. Good luck. Yeah. It's a seven. All right, you got it. Well done. So, so yeah. this is what happens. We get her. I get her out. I reunite her. We, we get reunited with my. I get reunited with my wife, and her son, and we go back and live in the five, uh, the Verdant Five, because that's what Ralph would want. And I don't even care about being a rigger anymore. I'm so happy to have my wife back. There's only one change to that, and that is absolutely everything you said happens. The only the only issue is you're not able to bring when you guys go to try to bring her out of her cryo freezed body. Uh -huh. Right? There's been too much damage. And so she, all of her soul and spirit and everything that is her, is returned, but it is returned into one of the bodies that was in the cyber coffins that was sacrificed to Shri Waring because it was only two weeks old. So you have your wife back, female. But, she, <laughs> but she is in a completely different female body. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's just female. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's fine. I don't care. Yes. I yeah. stick her in the most attractive one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, and, and, and Look, I'm making, upgrade. I'm, I'm, I'm designing. I'm making. Oh, she just lost 20 years off her life. Yes. <laughs> By the way, one tier, now. one tier as well, uh -huh. um, and uh, yeah, that's excellent. The big question. Oh, and you guys do go back to live in the verdant. White picket fence right, excellent. and uh, yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. So then the dragon slayer is a dog. We have a, we have a family pet. It's I the little, it's it's the little YouTube, um, is it just you and me? Oh, you're well out. Yeah. Very good. Now I do have a question for you. You go back into the Verdant Five. 
your family is reunited, everything is going well. But one of the things is Jin Raven is is very very serious about exp- well, one once it's found out no no uh. once it's found out that Shrywaren is dead both the elven forces and the native american forces do not come into the city everybody's like whoa a, a dragon just died there let's let's everybody settle down for a minute right? <laughs> so at that point at about two months out she says okay we have the verdant five it's permanent right and it is nobody's been able to take it back we need to push it out. We need to magically expand the ritual and take more of the city. Do you dissuade her or do you encourage her or discourage her to expanding the Verdant Five into Seattle? Can I just like not take an opinion on that? Um, and let her do what she so you're saying so you're gonna let her make her own decision. Uh, I will yeah. let her know that all decisions have consequences and, and stuff like that. But Sage counsel. He's going to give not... you an extra tier for that one. <laughs> oh, boy, because that's going to matter. <laughs> and But you do get one tier. And so and, and what you're saying is you do not politically interfere in the decisions of Jin Raven. You let her stand on her own. That's perfect. All right, and that is the final uh, That is the final <coughs> one there. Now i got one last thing. I'll bring it over. Oh, now, boy, usually I give like out medals. But oh, that's, boy. Old, that's old hat. Like, I've done it's been that done. before. So I have something <coughs> a little different. Did now. you know this was the last session, Scott? Uh, well, once <laughs> I have them, once I show these, it'll be pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> so these are very, very different. Uh, these I call, art. I've never done these before. These are called RPG Relics. All right, so they are a treasure chest in themselves. Ooh. You can see that they have a new yen symbol on both sides. They have your character name here, and then there is one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh. Yeah. Uh, right, right so and left, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then uh, so we have your tamarin here, and um, we have Jin Raven there. And then uh, also just the year of the campaign. So as you get the box handled to me, yeah. I'll put them to the camera. Absolutely. Now, one last thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show each one of these contains. Does anyone know what that is? The talisman. The talisman. Yeah. Yeah. The totem stone. And nice. so in it is your totem stone so that all of you will be able to go in and out of the Verdant Five. <laughs> nice. So there you go. There you go. And uh, Dredge, got one for you there. Yeah, and cool. Raphael, one box, for Raphael. You can see, I don't know, yeah. the light. And it's one for Deldrac. Ooh. And one for Styx. Wow, and your nice. name was easy to spell. <laughs> <laughs> Nova Blue. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. <coughs> and inside, of course, is your totem stone. And that is a Cypher System wow. rule book. Shadow Run, and I really want to thank each and every one of you guys for playing. It was a real joy. I two games I absolutely love, and it's been a, and I have not run Shadow Run for probably ten years, so it was really cool to do it. So the question I want to put to you guys is, which does Scott run next? Indeed, indeed. Let us know. Absolutely. Yeah. Vampire of the Masquerade. <laughs> now, actually, one thing I will say is. Nerdarchy has been so kind to me to let me run all these crazy games. I really want to leave it open to you guys. I'm, uh, you guys tell me I'll run whatever Nerdarchy wants next. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It, there's Safe no limit. System whatever you guys want to do. So yeah, absolutely. All right. So with that, until next time. Stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.